Should men freeze their sperm? Welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Dr. Shari Kashaba. I'm a fertility specialist at IVF Australia. And today we're going to talk about men fertility preservation. So before I start, what is I'm talking about like male fertility preservation, what is actually sperm freezing involves? Sperm freezing basically involves them producing a sample. And instead of just testing the sample and looking at it, we actually process it, put it in a swimming test, get the best swimmers, and we remove the semen. Semen is the fluid that carries the sperm, and then get the best swimmers, and we freeze them in straws. Now ask me, why would anyone would want to do that? Well, for multiple of reasons. I mean, someone could have a low sperm count. There's not enough swimmers in the sample. And as part of the preservation, we know that sperm count might decrease with age. So instead of reaching a point that we got none, we've got backup and we've got them frozen just for future use. Another conditions or another situation that someone would like to freeze their sperm is before chemotherapy or radiotherapy. We know that these agents could affect the sperm production uh, later in life and can hinder fertility. So we freeze them as a backup for future use. There's recent kind of studies that showed that actually men, when they age, their sperm quality deteriorates and it's associated with certain genetic conditions with their offspring. Now it's a bit too early to freeze sperm for those reasons. But nonetheless, if someone has their 40s and 50s and they have no family plans so far, it might be a good idea to give sperm freezing a thought. Another situation is like if you go gym goers or someone that's been diagnosed with low testosterone and they need testosterone replacement therapy for whatever reason, we strongly advise freezing sperm before any steroid or anabolic steroids usage because this can diminish the sperm count and sperm production dramatically. When someone freezes sperm, how long can it be kept in storage? Well, as long as you want it to be. We've got sperm been stored for the past 10 to 15 years and is still as good as fresh ones. So once you freeze it, you can leave it as long as you want to. In such a situation, it become logistical issues uh, during the IVF treatment of a couple. So you decide to start a family, but your partner is going through the IVF treatment, uh, but you got like uh, travel plans or you've been uh, if you're working in the military and got sent off in a different country, uh, it makes sense to freeze sperm to be uh, available uh, during the IVF treatment. There are conditions because when we collect the eggs for IVF, it can be stressful to produce sample then and there at that time. So a lot of uh, men decide to freeze sperm prior to that day to avoid having any uh, problems on that day for collection. Now, how to use it or how to come back and use the sperm? Well, basically, uh, when we get like collect eggs or depends what treatment we're gonna use uh, or utilize that sperm for, just thaw the sperm and we assess the sperm swimming capacity after thawing. If they're good swimmers, we can use them for treatment options. Either inseminate to your partner, just put the sperm inside the uterus and cross our fingers, it works, or we can use it through IVF treatments. Now, one question I get asked a lot by, uh, by my patients, well, is there any difference when you use fresh versus frozen sperm? And the short answer is no. Now, when you get sperm and you thaw it, you've got millions and millions of sperm. And usually the best swimmer will win the race and fertilize that egg. And if we're not using the IUI or IVF, which is basically we get the sperm, we get the egg, put them in a dish, turn the lights off, play romantic music in the lab and check which one won the race there on that night. The more advanced treatment when we, got, when we don't have enough good looking swimmers is we do ICSI, which basically we get the eggs, we get the sperm and we inject that sperm directly inside the egg just to make sure that they got fertilized. And with all those treatments, either insemination or IVF or ICSI, there's no difference in success rates between fresh or frozen sperm. So it all falls back to you and what's your preference for doing that. And that's basically in a nutshell, sperm freezing for fertility preservation. My name is Dr. Shari Kashaba and thank you again for watching Fertile Minds. Don't forget to hit the subscribe buttons to keep updated with the latest about fertility.